Pop Shots ATL is an amazing 360 photo booth and event photography company that knows how to capture memories like nobody else. Their 360 photo booths are sleek and totally customizable with props and backdrops that'll have your guests flexing for the cameras. And check this out, y'all. They have a social media sharing feature that lets everyone show off their pictures and keep those memories alive long after the party is over. Pop Shots ATL takes exceptional care of their customers and pays attention to every little detail. So if you're looking to add some serious fun and unforgettable vibes to your event, Pop Shots ATL is the perfect choice. For more information, visit popshotsatl.com. That's P-O-P-S-H-O-T-S-A-T-L.com. Hello, and welcome to episode 19 of Let's Talk About It. <laughs> I'm your girl, the D-I-D-I-S, double K-Y, D-D Sky. So glad that you are with us tonight. We have an amazing smoking hot, no pun intended, show for you tonight. But of course, I couldn't get started without my co-host, my sidekick. I call him the man behind the meme. Give it up for the voice of God, Major. Did he? Yes. Did he you tell me, man, what, what, what's going on, man? You know, you don't sit down at all, do you? You don't sit still. You don't, <laughs> you don't calm down a little bit every time. No, this, this, let me, let me help you out. Know. Let me, no, no, let me, no, Didi, let me help you out for the viewers uh, who can see us and for the radio audience that cannot see us. <laughs> Didi, every time I turn this show on, Didi got a different background, which indicates <laughs> that Didi is not at home once again. Didi, where the hell are you at? I'm out here in these streets. Oh the holidays God. are coming. I have to make this paper. Okay. okay? I ain't mad at you, Didi. No We're further questions. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good to see you. It is good, good to, to see, you. see you, too. How has your week been? A lot has been happening uh, in the entertainment world. We're going to talk about that. But how has how has your week been since we spoke last? Oh, Didi, my week has been kind of kind of crazy. I, my, you know, last time I said I was still on that heating pad, man. Things have not uh -huh. looking up as far uh -huh. as that, man. My back is just okay. sucky, sucky, sucky. But I'm okay. in good spirits, Didi. I'm good spirits. Otherwise, yes, you How's are. Your you week have, been? Do you need me to do the George Jefferson on your back? I can stand, man. you know. I, I, I can't. I just need a new back. That's what I need. <laughs> I need a new back. I'm too young to be having all this back. Throw back problems. away. I'm no, the whole you, hold back away. Hold on, Get hold back away, Didi. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> oh, listen. Listen, guys. Before we get into this entertainment tea, we have something special for you tonight. So if you are watching right now on Facebook, if you are watching on Facebook, you need to share this live stream. Share this live stream right now. Share the live screen and then put in the comment that you shared. Let us know that you shared this live stream. We're giving away a hundred dollars for the holidays. So between this, show, yeah, a hundred dollars. God damn, it is. <laughs> That's why I'm out here making this money. So we give it okay, away. okay. So we giving away a hundred dollars. I ain't mad at that. Yes. We're going to give away a $100 gift card. So we're going to select a winner. You want to be in this drawing, guys. So I'm telling you how you can win. Go ahead now, right now, and share this live stream on your Facebook page. Share it live. Let everyone know. Call your friends. Call your family. Tell them to hop on in because they don't want to miss this show. Okay? Once you do that, hit the... Let us know by saying in the comment that you share because we're going to go and take a look at it and make sure. Now, some a bonus to that, a oh, bonus yeah. would be to make sure that you subscribe and that your friends and family subscribe as well because we're going to check that too. But we're going to select the winner um, on next week because guess what, guys? Next week's show is our 20th episode i can't believe oh it oh my god diddy how in the heck did that happen episode. yes boom 
And um, so we want to do something special for you guys for watching, for all of your support. Um, and then we're going into the holidays. So we're going to take our break and come back to you guys fresh and renewed. So go ahead right now and share this live on Facebook. If you're watching on Facebook, if you're watching on my Facebook, Major's Facebook, or Miss Novelty's page, share it right now. Okay? Share it. Oh, yeah. Share it. Let everybody know. Woo! So let's get into this hot tea, uh, Major. A lot has happened. I actually had the opportunity to go check out Renaissance, uh, Beyonce's movie about her her uh tour recent tour and it was actually pretty good that was long as hell is it just it like a it's just a concert though isn't it isn't it like a concert it is a it's a documentary it's a documentary of the concert right and it gives us that behind the scene because you know that beyonce and jay are very private in their life you know and so what this does is gives us an insight of what goes into her putting on um, a production of this magnitude, um, all the work. There are a couple of things now. Spoiler alert: If you don't, if you haven't seen it and you want to go see it, I'm about to give you some of the tea. So, spoiler alert: Don't don't be mad. Okay, don't get upset. Um, a couple of things that I pointed out. One, which I absolutely love, it humanizes Beyonce. It lets us know that she is absolutely human like we oh. we know that but you know I, people in the beehive i believe you know they just think that she's just this super goddess or whatever and that's she absolutely is fine. i mean real life but, can any of y'all imagine beyonce on the toilet taking a dump <laughs> i mean real no not a joke not as a joke dead serious i couldn't picture michael jackson doing does? it i couldn't i could well, not picture michael jackson sitting on the toilet i, I really cannot well, pe picture beyonce to. Taking the number two, I just don't think it happens. I think there's something <laughs> special that we don't know about that people like Beyonce get right. to encounter when that needs to come out. Yeah, you're so serious. crazy. I oh my gosh. Serious. Um, but yes, and then the work behind it. The other part of that is that she's black and she's female. Let's just be real clear about that. Um, and the challenges that we face are across the board and she lets you let us know she tells us and she says it in the show like i experience challenges where people test my knowledge about things that i know that i want and i have to fight for the things that i want so you think you beyonce okay a um billionaire artist and and um entertainer you would think that she would say what she wants and she gets it immediately no She's like, no, it's a fight for everything that I want. Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I and, and, and there are parts where you know she's being challenged because she's like, I want a two hundred thousand foot screen or whatever, and the guy's like, well, no, it comes in a ten, and she's like, no, I've researched it and I know it comes in a two hundred. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so I, I love that. I love that part. Um, I love that about her. But what was noticeable to me was the absence of Solange. Now she gives, pays homage um, and talks about former Destiny Child members who actually went to her Houston show. Um, and so she says how uh, therapeutic them all coming together, how that was for them. Um, she talks about that. She of course talks about Kelly. She shouts out her mom and dad, her family, but she does not shout out Solange. There's a picture of Solange and there's a video of them as kids, mm. but there's no specific mention of her sister Solage, which I thought was interesting. But other than that, it's it's good. It's good. Uh, it's just I long. Forgot she, it's I long. forgot she had a sister. Beyonce has a sister. You know what? I'm sorry, I my apologies. No, I got it. I'm I'm dead here. Dead. I should have done more of my um <laughs> research before Listen. the podcast started today. Oh, don't do Solange I'm like so that. Sorry about Pray, that. Cranes in the sky. I actually like, um, I really like Solange's music. She hasn't put anything out in a while, but I really like her music. Nonetheless, moving on. So we've also <laughs> had several Hollywood breakups. Major? Baby, it's the holidays. It's cuffing season, as they say, and people are breaking up. I'm like, oh This is the season goodness. where you break up. You got to break up during this season, and then you get no. back together like right after Valentine's Day and save. I'm being serious. This is how you do it. No, for real. For all of you bachelors that know you got a side piece, so you know when your side piece 
if you if he dis, if he or she disappear around this time of year and then like around February 15th, 16th, February, like I want to work things out. Just want you to know. Anyway, Didi, what 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 else is happening with the breakup? I, uh, I thought it was the opposite way. I thought the winter time was cuffing season. That's when you really want to try to stay in your relationships. And you gotta stay in your real relationship <laughs> during the winter. In your real relationship, you stay in your real you relationship in, your in the real winter. Time. <laughs> yeah, you gotta you gotta you gotta buckle down. Oh, if you with get broke real, up with, no, major, you gotta buckle down I, in your real major. relationship. If you get so, what you're saying is, if you get broken up with during the holidays, it's because you a side piece. You. Is that what you're 100%, saying? 100 percent, Didi. 100 percent Moving on. Y'all, so who else is what are y'all think about this? Season? Please. That's what you're here for. Yes, we want yes. you to engage and comment um on this conversation. But nonetheless, uh, maybe you you make you, that yeah. the side pieces you're getting broke up with uh during the holidays because he don't have time, he don't have enough arms to stretch. Yeah, he can't Facts. be with the family over here and then also get the kids and the and the wife and everybody gifts and then get you a gift. So be a, beware that he may circle back around after the Christmas holidays around Valentine's. Is that and what go, you're saying, Major? And gone and gonna let him come on back in too, because you know you ain't got nobody. You, but you know what? I'm moving on. I'm moving on. I'm about <laughs> I'm to tell sorry, the story. <laughs> They're gonna cancel me. They're gonna cancel the hell out of me before Christmas, and I really don't want that. <laughs> Listen. So Dion Sanders. Um, the coach of the Colorado um, College, University of Colorado, uh, um, and his longtime girlfriend, Tracy Edmonds, longtime fiance, I think they at least made it to engagement status. Oh, they have they called it quits it, huh? after over wow. you know multiple decades. They were together. And so, um, so yeah, so Dion and surprisingly, Dion and Tracy have broken up. And I, I really... I really appreciated their their relationship. Um, but you know what? Oh, you're talking about that they statement? That old... Them darn reality then, shows. I, I think reality they, shows are killer. They put a statement out, too, together. Like, oh, he was the greatest ever. And then she was like, uh, he was like, yeah, she was the greatest ever. We just mutually didn't couldn't do it no more. Mm hmm. Right. They got some good PR reps, man. I, you got to get you somebody like that. If you're going to be in the public eye and you're going to break up, you're going to have to break yeah. up like that. Yeah, well, they that's do. How, that's how I'm going to break up, Didi. That is how I'm going to break up. When that's it comes how you to break up. That's how I'm going to break up in the public eye, Didi. I'm going to break up with a publicist. I'm going to be your publicist, and I'm just going to put serious. the statement out. They don't, they don't go together no more. <laughs> All right, Didi. I'm cutting up. I'm sorry, let me calm down some on the podcast. <laughs> you are tripping. Okay. Um, and so... The T on the street is that Dion has already moved on. And why the hell not? I'm saying if if you listen. if you listen, it's too cold out there, Didi. If you don't got, the, if you can't be with the one you with, be with the one you can be with. while you can be with them? That's all. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so and she's not bad looking. She's not bad looking, Didi. No, she's beautiful. She's beautiful. Um, apparently he's been dating uh this model, and. She has, you know, um, a background from what I've researched. So she's a model and a businesswoman. Um, let me find her name. Why don't I see what kind of her what name? kind of business? I don't like how you said background. Let me be honest with you. Um, I she, don't she appreciate prison. how you said background. So what's prison. the background? She went to prison. Okay, and I'm wrong with a little. Okay, that's that's kind of attractive to me. Right. Yeah. She went. Yeah, she went to prison. She did some prison time. Um, when she was younger, um, it doesn't say what the crime was that was, you know, that she was guilty of. I'm assuming that it was drugs, but I'm not sure her and her mom, um, were caught up in that. And she says that she was in a family of that life. Um, but yeah, yeah she, she's done some time, but now she is a business mogul and she's doing her, her thing. Um, so shouts out to Dion, who's already picked up and moved on. I just think it's early, Man. but that's just my personal opinion. I don't know. Man, that's wild. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't know. Nonetheless, moving on to more breakups, Cardi B and Offset. Now, I'm I'm really I'm upset about that. I'm in my feelings. That's crazy. Now, that's, that's I, I, really, I really I really like their pairing. 
Cardi B yeah. and her her husband um, of many years. They have two kids. Um, have called it quits. I believe that they're going to eventually get back together. That's I, what I'm. Hoping. I believe. I, who broke up with who, Didi? Do you know who who broke up with who in that scenario? Because she's gonna be I, like Tia Mori. Isn't Tia Mori crawling back now? And w- which one is it? The one that's crawling back? Tia, oh, Tia or Tamir? Mari. One, one of them. One of them. The one oh. of them that just got yeah, they crawling back. So that's gonna be the scenario mm. shortly. I, I that's can just what tell you, you think. We, she have to crawl uh, back to him. Yeah, it's gonna have to mm-hmm. be that way. Yeah, he's offset. Yeah, uh, we'll yeah. we'll see. And she's and she's Cardi B. Yeah, Whole, you know she's she's doing her thing. But I I really don't. I'm I'm I love love. So I just I really like to see people together. It's nothing not damn them strings. No, stay home. Oh, she's focus. Yeah. yeah. So Rachelle said that it's Tia that's trying to get back with her man. So shots out um, to Rachelle for being here. Who else do we have in the house? We have yours truly. April is here. Uh, shouts out to you. Um, again, guys, remember, if you are watching, and someone actually said that they're watching on YouTube, but they went on their other device, shared it on their live on Facebook to ensure that they are put in this draw for this $100. And our last entertainment um, news is Diddy. He's continuing to catch all the smoke. Diddy is, you know, they, again, as I said, when the Cassie uh, lawsuit came out, I knew Pandora's box was going to open and the floodgates are opening up on him right now. Um, All of his partnerships and endorsements, they're pulling away. Uh, Diageo, who is the home of his Dillion tequila and Ciroc, they're trying to uh, part ways with him. He's now stepped down from revolt. Um, and there's just more allegations that's continuing to drop um, in his sexual assault cases. And and my question is, no, there's nobody coming to his defense. Like, no, as a matter of fact, former security guards, you know, former staff, they're coming out and, and some of them are even, um, you know, confirming these cases. No one is stepping up and saying, you know, this it's is a re- that's, yeah. Hey, I look. know. It is what it is, man. You know, he got to come up. I'm hey, look. I'm about to make an allegation. Shit, if everybody gonna get paid, I'm about to die. He touched me. And that's yes. all I know. Anyway, DD, I ah, you ain't hey, getting no money. Look, to get, you don't know. <laughs> you don't know what I'll get. You don't know, major, major. You, you are not getting any money. You gonna you file a complaint on Diddy? I'm gonna file. Enough is enough. This is yes. what Diddy had to say. For That's the last he... couple of weeks, I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my mm-hmm. reputation and my legacy. Sticking mm-hmm. in allegations have been made against me and by individuals looking for a quick payday, like myself, because I will make an allegation look for a quick payday. <laughs> I'm not going to even hold Diddy. And then it goes on to say, let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. Let me tell you what he didn't do, Didi. He might fight, but he did not. He did not get a publicist. He wrote this himself <laughs> when he was off that Ciroc. Now, I'm going to be honest, Didi. This is what you do when you're guilty. You do stuff like this oh, and you shouldn't have wrote this. He shouldn't have wrote this. He should have consulted, but he didn't consult. He anyway, that's not my business. Well, it's not my well business. Um, Aubrey Day from Danity Kane from his former girl group said that that was classic R. Kelly. She said that statement was word for word verbatim R. Kelly. And, yeah. and I'm, I, I must say this before we go ahead and move on. I'm concerned. I'm concerned, baby. I, Lord, if he if we move, mute Diddy, he, oh boy, this is just going to be a lot of songs. Just. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Uh, uh, just get it together, Lord, people. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm, I don't know. Well, I, what I do know. What I do know is that our guest tonight is smoking hot, literally. Mm. So according to a 2017 U.S. government study, about 2% of American adult females smoke cigars. Notable stogie smokers include, now did you know this? Did you know this? I'm getting ready to school you. And then my guest who's going to come in um, on tonight 
get your books out, get your notebooks, you know, and, and take notes because she's getting ready to take y'all to school in this thing. Um, notable smokers, cigar smokers are Jennifer Lopez, Shakira, Rihanna, Beyonce, Madonna, and many, many more. So our guest tonight has blazed her own trail and is lighting up the cigar culture with her beauty, style, and grace. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the show, my girl, Miss Novelty. Hey, hey, hey. Hello there, Miss Novelty. How are you? I'm just glad to be here. Just I'm so glad here. to have you. Thank you. You look beautiful. We, we're going to get into your style and your, your beauty, your grace, and all of those things. Um, but what I would like for you to do is just educate our viewers on who you are and how you got involved in this cigar culture. Well, like I said, thank you for having me, Didi. And Major, we're going to go back to that little conversation you had before about uh, the side piece and the winter time and, and all of that. We're going to go back to that after the show. We're going to talk about that, too. about that. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, I, I definitely want to hear. <laughs> I oh love my it. God. Yeah, that was great. Um, Sandra Mayo, AKA Miss Novelty. Um, I got into cigars, uh, the cigar game about 15 years ago. Um, mm -hmm. I was working with my brother-in-law who was a, a general contractor at the time. And he built, ho built houses for individuals, built subdivisions. And once he would acquire the property, he would go to the cigar lounge to kind of like celebrate because, you know, back then, mm -hmm. you know, trying to get money to do, you know, major projects was major. Um, and it was a uh, it was a very long and hard process. So once he was able to to get through that process, break through those doors, he would go out and celebrate. Um, and I would go with him, and he would celebrate at cigar lounges. And I, the first thing, you know, I was just sitting over in the corner and just like, oh God, the smoke. But mm -hmm. when I saw my brother in law was he he didn't he didn't know a stranger. When I saw how my brother in law interacted with these individuals that he did not know, mm -hmm. um, all colors, genre, just different people, he started formulating deals within the cigar lounge. And he was like, Sam, come on over. I want you to talk to this person, this person, that person. And that became a ritual. Like he, mm -hmm. he did so many, conducted so many conferences, um, conf uh, meetings in the cigar lounge. He started doing that once he got familiar with how the cigar brings people together. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking to see like this little thing right here, this stick, right? It's the common denominator. It doesn't care. It doesn't care what color you are. It doesn't care what gender you are. It does not care. When you sit mm -hmm. down and talk about this stick, then it moves into other avenues. So it opened up a new platform for networking for me because I don't know. I don't meet any strangers as well. So. Mm -hmm. I cigars. Now, I didn't become really interested in learning about cigars until a friend of mine about six years ago introduced me to the cigar culture. Mm -hmm. And that's where the education and knowledge came because I was with her and I saw how she would get challenged by men and, and what she knew and how she knew when smoking, how they came up to her as she was smoking a cigar and the different mm -hmm. connotations. So that interests me being mm -hmm. a behavioral health expert, understanding how the mind works. I just saw all this interaction and I'm like, Ooh, Ooh I know how men think. I know how men think. So uh -huh. if I'm going to conduct a deal, well, why not do it in the cigar lounge? Where they're, oh, where they're right. Right. So that just kind of morphed into just diving deeper and deeper into the culture and learning about it. And mm -hmm. you know, it, it afforded me to go to all of these different places, domestic and international, to meet different individuals, mm -hmm. understand different cultures of the cigar, and understand right. people even more so. So that's a kind of a 
uh, a mini, you know, elevator pitch version of what got me into the cigar culture. But mm-hmm. what got me into the cigar game was I was at a point in my life where um, I was working in, you know, with my mom and, and I built her company up to a multi-million dollar company. I like, I work hard, mm-hmm. you know, I work hard. Um, not yeah. only my mother, I started out in the music industry. Um, mm-hmm. I was a personal assistant for um, a, a underground rapper. I toured, you know, the world with him for about six years. Again, understanding people, all of that stuff came back to my memories. Just as I went through that, uh, a period in my life, mm-hmm. and I I was I, I was depressed, and I didn't know I was depressed. And I was talking mm-hmm. to my daughter lived in LA at the time, and I'm gonna get back to that as far as the mental health um, con- uh, aspect is concerned. My daughter lived in LA at the time, and um, I was talking to her. And maybe I sounded crazy to her, mm-hmm. but a couple days later, I was laying in my bed, and I hear the door my door open and I thought it was my dad because he does the most. Um, but my daughter was standing at the top of the steps. Like, mom, I'm here. I just bursted out crying. I oh. just bursted out crying because again, I didn't know that mm-hmm. I was depressed. I didn't know that I, I didn't know, even though I speak to people about that all day, but experiencing mm-hmm. is something different. And I'm gonna get back to that as well. Um, yeah. So she and I, we went out to dinner and we just, she came back from dinner and, and sat in the driveway. And I was like, okay, my, my sister that lives in Oregon at the time was opening up a, um, a hair hair uh, salon and because her, her children are interracial. And she was like, I have to drive you know an hour each way to get my girl's hair done because there are no hairstylists in Portland, Oregon. Mm-hmm. So she's, she was going to open up one and then she was going to franchise. She had all this master plan. And I was telling my daughter, you know, I'm going to go and, and run her business and, you know, get her started. And my daughter was like, why are you going to do that? Why, why are you going to do that? I said, because, you know, it's mm. easy. you could do that with your eyes closed. Why don't you do that for yourself? What is it that you like? I said, mm-hmm. well, I, I like cigars. I like smoking cigars. I like going to the cigar lounge. She said, so why don't you open a cigar lounge? I was like, mm. wow. Okay. She said, well, that's what we're going to do. You've made all these people all this money. Now it's time mm-hmm. for you to do it. I'm not proud. I'm your only child. You know, and I'm out. I'm doing what I, I want to do. I'm running and carrying on. I said, okay. You know, as I wipe my tears away, and I'm like sitting up in a car. I was like, okay. She said, well, what do you want to call it? I said, um, I don't know. I want it to be different because I'm different. I want to bring the spark mm-hmm. to it. bring my knowledge of the music industry or my love for music. I want to do, I want to be a novice. She said, well, novelty. Novelty. Wow. All and of that came into Yes. Name and everything. novelty. And I was like, I like that. Yes. And she said, and because my daughter, um, she was a, a personal assistant for one of those actors up in, in um, LA. She said she has access to all of these different people. Mm-hmm. So she said, okay, give me, give me a minute. She said, think about that. Think about what you want to do. Think about how you want to start it and let's get started. In right. five minutes, she said, okay, here's your logo. She had set the information to one of her people in LA. Wow. They sent back the logo. She said, here's your logo. We're going to go tomorrow and we're going to get you, you know, we're going to start your business tomorrow. And that's the long, you know, I guess the 10 minute elevator speech of how I got started. And how you got started. Yeah. Wow. What a beautiful thing uh, to have. And particularly your daughter to speak that life into you. And then for you to then birth, the novelty experience and Miss Novelty um, from that. Uh, that that definitely gives me goosebumps um, because people speaking life into our dead situations that we think are dead situations, um, it, you know, it, it, it says something just about, you know, the man above and how he moves. Um, so you said something that was interesting in regards to that stick not having It doesn't have a color barrier. It doesn't care about sex or, you know, any of those things. But I find it interesting that over the past, you know, maybe decade, we've seen, I felt like there's been like an influx of of our culture, of, of the Black experience, whether female or male, really, you know, pouring into the cigar industry. Um, I'm, I'm, 
from South Florida, Miami, Fort Lauderdale area. And that's, huge, you know, cigars and cigar lounges and, you know, Cuban cigars. That's big in Miami in the Latin community. Mm -hmm. um, but you see it, like you said, now you see it so widespread um, in so many other cultures. And, and I find it interesting that you said um, that business deals are made in, in cigar lounges or just smoking a stick. And I compare that to, to the golfing experience. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So, yeah. Absolutely. People, people tend to, to, to um, let down their guards when they're doing something that they love. And you're, so with them doing that, they're comfortable with talking to you. So it's kind of mm -hmm. like a trust because you have a mutual friend. Right. Um, and you're able to talk to that person, not that business person, but that person who, and, and that's where the mental health comes in because I literally see the, mm -hmm. the ball, right. That birth, the miss, that's the premise behind the Miss Novelty experience. Uh -huh. And you can ask me questions about that or I can go on into it because it make it gives me so much joy right. when I'm able to see that that decompression in people mm -hmm. because you never know what people are going through. You never know what people are going through. And right. I use the example um, that that I have with my daughter about she 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 didn't know, but she felt it mm -hmm. when I'm out doing what I do. I feel it. Because yeah. one, I can, I, because I, I understand people, understand movements, I understand how they operate, understand emotions. Mm -hmm. that, that's what, that's how I know how to approach them when I'm standing behind my table or I'm at an event. Mm -hmm. and I have not missed yet. I right. Haven't mm -hmm. Right. Um, and so let's, let's break up the experience. Let's first talk about um, Miss Novelty as an you know ambassador as a face of the cigar industry a female face um you you said it first like what i was thinking and what i think when i go because i'm not a smoker but mm -hmm. my guy is a smoker my fa i have family members who smoke so i'll attend i'll go to a cigar lounge every now and then I just don't, I don't know how to inhale. I don't, I don't know. I, I don't know what, what I'm doing. So people say I'm usually just wasting it. I, I'm not good at it. But I'm always typically like, well, I don't want to go in there until it's almost time for me to wash, get my hair washed. Because <laughs> so, I'm thinking about the smoke. Like, it's, I'm just going to be smelling smoke the whole time. Like, what? So let's speak to, you know, the, 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 the very freshman folks like myself who aren't into this industry, when you say um, that it's a relief, it gives you, um, there is a sense of peace when you smoke. What are those, what are the benefits when you, when you just feel like you just need to go and relax and you say, I'm, I'm going to go to a lounge or I just want to smoke a stogie in my backyard what what does it what what are some of the benefits of that? What do you feel? So the reason why individuals want to go to a cigar lounge is because individuals they check their titles at the door. Mm -hmm. Everyone is equal. So right. you don't know if you're talking to a doctor, you don't know if you're talking to a scientist, you don't know if you're talking to a battered uh, wife. You don't know if you're you're talking to an individual that's business is about to go down the toilet. You do mm -hmm. not know. The common denominator, as I said before, is the stick. The advantage of going to the cigar lounge again is that's what it's known for. That's what it's for. In mm -hmm. our culture, because we are the ones that birthed it, we are the ones that harvested it back in the day. We did all of mm -hmm. that. My job is to bring that back into right. our community. That's it. Cigars are a $26.4 billion a year industry. Oh, no. And I want to, we, we need that back. We need that back. Mm -hmm. So uh, just to mm -hmm. answer your question, what that looks like, again, it's the ability for individuals to come in through the side door to create generational wealth. How do you create generational wealth, Miss um, Novelty, by going into a cigar lounge? Well, it first starts with going. 
The second part, mm-hmm. it starts with relaxing, which is what you're going to do. And the third part right. is being kind and communicating with people. Now, you say, I want to go to a girl lounge. And I just don't want to do anything. The stick forces you to communicate. So it, right. takes, you right. out of, it takes you out of your own way and it forces mm-hmm. you to communicate. Even if it's just, right. hello, what are you smoking? What are you smoking? How does right. that taste? Also the conversation, yes. Yeah. The conversation. And again, uh-huh. if it's a banker and you're trying to get a loan, you're talking to that person. You're talking to that person. You're not talking to a banker. Mm-hmm. So with business, it's about relationships, right? It is. It's about relationships. Mm-hmm. So there, if you talk to this person, they get to know you. And then two weeks later, you go inside a bank and try to get a loan and you get that person. Mm-hmm. Nine times out of 10, they're going to work with you. Right. If, again, if, again, you're honest, you know how to talk to people and you know how to communicate effectively. And that's what right. I teach. That's what that's what I teach my team. Mm-hmm. You have to be able to communicate. You have to be able to read the room in five seconds. And that's right. what makes a person, a good person, great. And those are some of the advantages of going into a cigar lounge. That's what yes. that's what that's that's my I, I get adrenaline rush when I go into a cigar lounge because oh, I already yeah. know that something's going to happen because I know me, period. Mm-hmm. Yes. Brandon Hill says big facts establish those great relationships with people. And yes, I absolutely you and I met um, here in Atlanta at the cigar lounge. <laughs> yes, at the cigar lounge. It's a perfect yeah. networking opportunity. It, there is a lot of networking there. There's a lot of events and what. What has happened as well is that the cigar has paired with golf and has paired with um, liquor brands and spirit brands. And so it's just a perfect combination. It's paired with fashion. All of those things that you are involved in and you're going and, and, and making it known making your presence known, making the experience known. Tell us about that in terms of what you're doing and how you're going out with the novelty experience at these events, the golf tournaments, the fashion shows. What are you doing with the novelty experience on on that level? So what I do is, first of all, I realize and I understand what my assignment is. Mm -hmm. So every time I go out, the objective in my mind is to bring people together, to be an example to my team, to be kind to whomever is behind the mask. Because if I take the mask down, if I get the mask to come down, they're going to buy a lot of cigars. I already know that. Right. Um, and also making money. That's that's the idea behind it, making money. Um, mm-hmm. And how I do that is, again, effective communication, effective right. communication reading the room. Okay. And I tell my team, and this is what my Sandra means giving and mm-hmm. I've given to a fault and I've learned how to give where it's effective and mm-hmm. where it's beneficial for me first, because I, you have to be selfish. Right. You have to be selfish. So mm-hmm. when I was doing this by myself first, I said, this is, has to be an experience. And that's one of the things I told my daughter when we were sitting in that car in 2000, October, 2019, mm-hmm. I said, this, this has to be an experience. I know what I like. You know what I mean? I'm mm-hmm. high fashion. I'm luxury. Um, I like the fine dining. I like nice clothes. And up there is the premium cigars. Now, I'm going to meet people wherever they are. I'm going right. to meet people wherever they are. I don't care if I have a diamond ring with 17 carats in it. And this person over here has um, a ho- some holes in their shoes. I'm going to treat them exactly at, like a VIP. I don't mm-hmm. care who you are. Right. I, and- my form of giving the Miss Novelty experience is to give individuals an experience. Mm-hmm. Cars are just a bonus. So having right. it was hot outside during the summer, I had frozen, I froze about 300 rags, uh, bath cloths. And I gave those out during um, my event that I had outside. I had mm-hmm. my um, novelettes, which we're going to talk about them. I love them. And Novelty King. Yes. Um, my girls to go around in a silver tray and hand out the, the bath cloths to the men mm-hmm. first. And then the men, they're gonna take it because they're gonna put, there's my ladies, they're gonna put their mm-hmm. um, bath cloth on their heads and then the women are gonna want it. And I have my 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 ladies to say, okay, would you like a bath cloth to the women? 
right? To the women. Mm -hmm. Also etiquette when you're um, selling cigars. If a woman comes to mm -hmm. your table and, uh, with, and she's with her husband, you know that immediately that the husband typically is the one that's going to purchase the cigars. Okay, well, you don't talk to the husband. Uh -huh. You know, yeah. until she gives you that mental eye contact that you could talk to my husband, then you can do that. Uh -huh. You know, that gives the yes. woman, that tears her, her wall down. And Major, we can talk mm -hmm. about that too. May disagree with me on right. that. Talk about that. <laughs> no, no, actually, actually when I, when I right? say you, you after my heart right now. Uh, yes, <laughs> yeah. you, it's boy, order. I love what you're talking about. Preach and teach. You, order. See, it's this what these young, this is what these young little tenders out here need to understand, man. They think they can just young go willy nilly, and the waitress can come over and tap on my shoulder, get me caught up. I don't know you. I don't no, know you. You cannot do that. You can't do that. Hey, listen, right. I'm not to my own horn, but you know, mm -hmm. I'm I'm pretty I'm I'm good it's on not the even about insecurity, it's just like a it's it's respect, like it's respect. right? Boundaries. It's boundaries. Treat people the way you want to be, want treated. To be treated. I'm out mm -hmm. with my man. I need you to look at me first, and I'm gonna give you the sister thing to say, okay, now you can talk to my man, but you gotta oh, make me first. So that these I are remember. things that I teach my I'm a PK kid, by the way. You know, mm -hmm. so I'm in this world, but I'm not of it. So right. I incorporate. <laughs> Major, don't get me started because I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in it, but I'm not of it. So mm -hmm. it's a part of my assignment. Again, the cigars is just a bonus. It's a bonus. My assignment is to bring people, pla places together, period. Mm -hmm. Money, the bookings and all of that other stuff will fall in line. If you do okay. that, you have mm. to be kind to people. And again, those little etiquette moments, how to hold the cigar, how right. to greet someone who has never smoked a cigar. Mm -hmm. um, right, right. You know, cigar enthusiast or a beginner cigar. Women, right. 10 years ago, uh, the on the scale of as far as the financial impact in the cigar community, 10, 10 okay. years ago, it was Caucasian men, mm. right. African, Caucasian women, African-American uh -huh. men, and then African-American women. Today, it's yes. Caucasian men, Af brown women. What? Men are right there, African-American men, and then Caucasian women, okay? Wow. Caucasian brown oh, women. Wow. In our culture, we are the fastest growing genre within the culture. Now we're talking about twenty six point four billion dollars a year, okay? Right. Brown women. This is how much money we put into cigars. Mm -hmm. So why right. not make an experience while we're moving up? Why not do that? Mm -hmm. Why not do that? And why right. not? Oh, I told you, Didi. Like the majority of my accessories are African American female, female. Then, they right. These things, okay? My hashtag is. I'm not, and I tell my team, I'm not going to be the only ones on the on the yacht popping bottles. You're going to buy a bottle. You're going to buy a bottle, and you're mm -hmm. going to buy a bottle. We are coming up the ladder together, and I'm right. going to show you how to do that, how mm -hmm. to create generational wealth. So, with everything that we're talking about, right? The cigars is just a bonus. It's a bonus. The cigars is just a bonus. So yes. I tell my, my, my mother, you know, and, and and it's not easy. It's mm -hmm. not easy. I right. Work Hard. When wow. you say when you say it's not easy, what have been some of the challenges that you faced as an African American woman in this industry that is has you know historically been very male dominated, mm -hmm. um, and you are absolutely killing the game. So what were what were those challenges, and what kind of are your challenges right now? Um, in this industry learning how to muzzle my mouth oh and listen okay and watch the reason why i say that is because and a mother will always tell me even when you're right sometimes you still can't say anything and that was mm -hmm. the hardest thing for me to do so when mm -hmm. I'm out, you know, um, ha ha at the beginning, it was very, very hard because I'm going to use the, the word hated on. I was hated on because, oh, you're a newbie. And I was one of the first individuals within the cigar culture to come out with videos, 
you know, displaying my cigars. And if you look at my page, I don't do a lot of talking. I don't right. do a lot of talking. Actions speak louder than words. And that yes, goes along does. with your relationships too. Mm-hmm. Actions speak louder than words. Don't get me started about male or female. Major, we we really got to talk because you said <laughs> something. <laughs> One of us, one of us are gonna get the other one in trouble. I, I and I think it's gonna be you. <laughs> I understand it. I was hated on by brown women. Mm-hmm. I was hated on by Caucasian women. I right. I was hated on by men. And I'm like, why? I stay in my lane. I my hashtag is, you know, I'm humbly coming. I'm mm-hmm. dominating. Humbly, and I got that trademark right. too. Right. Because the, it, it, I, because I'm in this world, I'm not of it, and my foundation is such. I was guarded. You know, I mm-hmm. have people praying for me. So when right. and, and I can define hate. Um, I had to bring attorneys um, mm. to the table because the same individual that introduced me to the cigar community is the same individual that stalked me. For eight months. Wow. Well, you know what they say? They smile in your face all the time. They want to take your place. The back's terrible. I understand. Oh. So I, 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 looking up when I'm in New Jersey, I see her over there. Two weeks later, I'm in Atlanta. She's over there standing in the corner. Are you right. a female stalker? Wow. Yes. Well, that's scary. That's worse. I'm so mad. Right. That. I had propelled because of how I do what I do. So and I yeah. and I I had a reputation. So I couldn't even again, that's where it comes in, even if I was right. Mm-hmm. Timing. You just can't. You right. just can't. I've got exactly. my daughter watching me. I have to protect the brand. That's right. My name is the only thing I have. That's which right. Is another reason why I tell my girls, like we we're not doing none of that. We're not gonna be known for the group that travels around the country sleeping with everybody else. We just not doing none of that. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. we'll talk about that too. But yes, so being hated on that way, that was an extreme. But to be cut out of deals with individuals that you think are for for you, mm-hmm. to really now I have not cigar men, there's there's two two types. Okay. Oh, this is what I, this is what I want to know. Yep. <laughs> there, are those that, there are those that think they're prettier than me. Oh. And there are those, that, yes, there are those okay. who think they know more than me. Mm-hmm. And so they come at me a lot. They come at me a lot to try to test my, to, uh, test my knowledge. Of right. And what I do mm-hmm. and how I do. But you're not really the typical. Are you? Are you the typical female in the cigar no. industry? So you would be kind no. of like the exception, though. I, I I am to a certain extent, but there are no. you already know there are some that's like yo, I'm gonna break her. Like she's, yeah, yeah, cannot yeah. be who she says she is. And, and I don't think it's a challenge. You know, yeah, they take it as a mm-hmm. challenge. Yeah. They do, they do, and no. I cut them down so gracefully. You seem like the right. type to cut you down gracefully. Yeah. Like you're gonna chop that tree down, but it's gonna <laughs> fall <laughs> so silently. Yes, you know, you're right. gonna fall silently in the forest. But again, in mental health, you know, I'm dissecting. Like, why are you? I'm looking at body language. I'm looking. Why at are you mad? mad? Why are you I'm, big mad? What, mm-hmm. For real? You know what? Right. You ain't even gonna do this. I'm. I'm yeah. gonna pick any cigar on the table. You can have it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's talk food. about let's talk about the 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 quality and the taste of cigars. Let's mm-hmm. school 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 the um not yeah. I'm I'm, I'm uh, what, what am I? Cuz I need to know. Yeah, cuz I had bought yeah. this cigar from next door to the liquor store one time. They served chicken Black and Miles. Black and Miles no, 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 no. It's a, it was a cigar. It was a cigar. It was at the this that and the other. But anyway, <laughs> that was a little bit ago, but I I hit it like it was a <laughs> cigarette. Ooh. I hit it like a cigarette. I'm not even it's not even a joke. It's not even a joke. I hit it like a cigarette, and I have never been that sick in my life. Oh yeah. gosh, yes. Yeah. So let's yeah. tell us first what are the the different flavors? Because I hear you know that there are certain flavors. There's you know a medium bold. They're bold. What are those those flavor distinctions? Okay. okay. So when we're talking about flavors, that's a uh, different category so there is a category of infused cigars so that's what they're called infused cigars 
with infused cigars, there are different flavor notes within the infused cigars. Sweet. Okay. Sweet. But um, blueberry, ch uh, cherry, um, grape, like there mm -hmm. are there are infused cigars. And it's okay to smoke infused cigars. I have an infused cigar here for my beginner. Okay. Because the experience that Major has, a lot of individuals are afraid of cigars. But if right. I'm talking to you about a cigar and I'm telling you, you know, like, and I know that they're like major. Oh, I can't. It just hurt. Oh, my God. It was the worst. You know, mm -hmm. I'm so sorry you had that experience. But you know what? I miss novelty. I'm a cigar enthusiast. And I'm here to bring that old thing back. Mm -hmm. So here's what I'm going to do. Since I know that you had a bad experience, let me smoke a cigar with you. And let me okay. explain how this works as I smoke it with you. I'm down. And I'm down. I am so down. I'm so. I am so. <laughs> my God. I'm so. <laughs> let me so smoke it with you. Uh -huh. Yes, okay. I'll smoke it with you. And I'm not even going to give you mm -hmm. a whole cigar because I don't want you to, I don't want you to waste it because you may not like it. All I want you to do is right. try it. Just try it. And, try. Do it with, and that's why I got the okay. mini. So, so those when, are the minis. That's, that's these nice. are the minis. And this is called a brand called Tatiana. And this is an infused. So it's very, very light. It's, it's sweet. It's very mm -hmm. smooth. And you're not going to run away from it. So okay. what I do for my beginner smokers is mm -hmm. I take it out of the wrapper. And I'm going to show it to you. I know you said hold it up. And I'm going to do that. But this is okay. like a, an Ebola type wrapper because they don't they do not want you to get into it. Okay. So I take the wrapper off. Okay. Take the wrapper off. Okay. Uh -huh. And that you see, it's a mini. This it's is a mini. Called, it is. It's a mini cigar. This is it's called cute. the head of cigar. And this is called the foot. And what I do okay. is I tell, I tell my beginners, I said, just do a dry pull. What's a dry pull? Well, mm. you taste it? It's good, right? right. Mm. Dry pull. Mm. You see that, do Major? You, do you, when you dry pull, are you... Are you inhaling? And nothing comes out. You just oh, taste yeah. the flavor. Yeah, I didn't do no dry pool. Okay. Mm -hmm. You didn't do it. Okay, pool. Pool. Well, is that like okay. a cigarello? Is that a cigarello? Is that what that is? It's called a mini cigar. A but mini cigar. Well, it, again, it depends on your end user. So for someone right. like you, if you ask me at the table, is it a cigarello? Whatever you identify it as, yeah, mm -hmm. it's kind of like that. It's kind of okay. like that, but it's mm -hmm. different. Because cigars are a luxury brand. So I want to take right. you out of the cigarillo and put you into cigars. So now, a mini me, cigar. A mini now, cigar. So Miss Novelty, let me ask you this. Now, if I'm walking around as a man and I'm mm -hmm. smoking a mini cigar, am I going to get judged? And I'm being serious. Right. So if I'm, in the, if well, I'm, I'm, I'm a, so, yeah. so here's what I do for the men, okay? Mm -hmm. And this is a cigar. Now, if you take this band off the cigar, it looks like a blunt. It looks like mm -hmm. a blunt. Right. It does. It looks That's like correct. Okay. So if you're in a cigar lounge, then the, the band doesn't matter. If you're outside, because this is only a 10 minute smoke, it's gone mm -hmm. in 10 minutes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, you're usually in an atmosphere where individuals are either smoking a cigar or if 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 you're not, they're gonna smell it. So and it's right. gonna smell different. It's gonna smell mm -hmm. different. And mm -hmm. I educate my individuals because before they leave, I said, What well, are you smoking? It's a mini cigar, right? Yes, it's mm. a mini cigar, right? And this is a Tatiana. Uh -huh. and the flavor is honey. Do you like honey? Oh, I love honey. Honey, yes. You call me honey sometimes. So you have yes. to. Have honey. So, Major, <laughs> would you smoke a cigar if it was? Yes, I, if it was introduced yeah. like that, I would probably smoke crack cocaine if you throw <laughs> it to me in that fashion. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm just, oh, no, if you I'm sold right. it to me, Miss Novelty, I'm probably going to smoke it down. But so That's so right. She's going to reel you, you in, are, you, are, you are good. You are absolutely See, good. I mean, that's I'm where, that's, where, that's where being able to communicate effectively. I didn't right. come to you. Your wife mm -hmm. wouldn't feel inferior because what I do is I offer her one too. I said because right. we ought to be able to smoke together on date smoke night. Together. So I don't that's smoke. Cool. Well, if you smoke with him, Mm -hmm. How would you? How to, and plus, if he's a cigar enthusiast and and just just a beginner cigar, but a cigar smoker and kind of new, I said, "Well, don't you want to? Don't you have date nights? Mm -hmm. No, said, can make a date night. You can make I it said, a date night. And, and what I do too with couples is, which is something that people don't do, is if a lady comes up and I get this often, 
And Didi, you, you're one of those. Um, mm -hmm. I want to buy some cigars for my man. Oh, okay. Well, mm -hmm. do you smoke? No, I don't smoke. Well, why don't you smoke? Well, right. I don't like the way it smells. Okay. Well, I'm going to give you a minute. Mm -hmm. I'm going to teach you how to cut and light a cigar. Yes. So when you oh, let's see that. Oh, cut and light a cigar. So this is let's a minute. You light. don't have to cut and light this one. You can just light right. this because it's so small. So yes, let's let's cut and light. Let's cut and light. I'm getting so, excited. Look at me. I'm like. <laughs> So I'm getting back to my little stick when I'm talking to the females. So right. you have you you Dee, Dee, let's do this. Okay. So you're you want to buy cigars for your husband? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. So what does he like? Yes. Oh, I don't know what he likes. Okay. Well, he likes this. Mm -hmm. All right. So I take the cigars and put it in the bag. Do you smoke? Mm, no. Why not? Mm, well, is it a, okay? Well, let me teach you how to cut and light his cigar and make sure oh, what's, his favorite, what's his favorite color what's his favorite color you tell me Diddy. purple, purple. Okay. so make sure you have on something purple oh when you and light his cigar what does he like to drink now if he's a bold cigar smoker then he's mm -hmm. gonna like a bourbon he's gonna like mm -hmm. a bourbon a woodford you have that on a tray for him Mm -hmm. what he likes. So make sure you right plan you gotta ask right. him that you like to drink. Or if you if it's your husband, you know what he likes to drink. So make sure mm -hmm. he has that. So you take the cigar cutter. Oh my goodness. So this is a V cutter. Okay. That's <laughs> right. a V. You said V V this cutter? This is a V cutter. You see the shape of it? It's the shape of right. Okay. Okay. If you if you're real nasty like Janet, you you would associate that with the V. Okay, okay, yeah, because I didn't see a letter V. I'll be real uh -huh. with you. I didn't see it. Oh, it's a V. It's a I shape see, up. I gotcha. see the V there. Okay. Now, what's the difference between, is there, a, is there another type of cutter? Yes. So there are several different types of cuts, okay? Okay. So as you see, this is the V cut, okay? And this is the V cut, all right? So one is bigger and one is smaller. So this particular one here is for cigars that are, have bigger gauges. And gauges are the size of the cigar, the ring gauge. Oh, okay. 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 This one, of course, I'm sorry, here we go, is for a smaller cigar. Right. Like such. Okay. Now, mm. the V cut typically, scientifically, is the best type of cut. The reason why, if you think about symmetry and science, science, Okay. When you smoke the tobacco, when it's a V cut, you smoke the tobacco evenly and you don't change the flavor of the tobacco because the enthusiasts want to taste the flavor notes within a tobacco. What are flavor right. notes? Flavor notes are the different type, the way that the tobacco is manufactured, the way that the tobacco is grown, what's put in the ground. It could, you, the cigar could taste like leather, it could taste like wood, it could taste like mm -hmm. spices, um, it could taste like chocolate. So d those are flavor notes. So to a cigar mm -hmm. enthusiast, when you smoke a cigar, and I'm going to get back to cutting it, the way that you actually taste the flavor notes is when you retrohale. So Miss Novelty, what is retrohale? Mm -hmm. So when you smoke a cigar, of course, you do not inhale. You don't swallow. You don't smoke it like, you know, that other stuff. You don't smoke it right. like that. Mary Mary Newport. Newport. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I can say that. I didn't know. I, I just got I say marriage drama. So we're gonna right. go into cutting the cigar, and I'm going this, to demonstrate. Right. I'm mm -hmm. gonna demonstrate what retro helling is. So right. you taste the smoke goes over your palate. What okay. is your palate? The palate is the four. There's five sections of your palate which are on your tongue. So mm -hmm. there's sweet, sour, bitter, and then there's sanguine, and then there's another one. So if you think about it. When you hold your nose, you can mm -hmm. bite into an onion and you don't taste it until you to you um, uh, um, unhold your nose, right? Right. When you inhale the smoke in your mouth, you're going to blow it out of your nose. The smoke goes over your, your nasal sensories in your throat and go out of your nose. So you're oh. able to taste the different flavor notes within a cigar. That's what makes a cigar good. You know what gotcha. I mean? So if an individual says this cigar tastes like X, Y, and Z, you can't say no, it doesn't because you don't have their palate. Okay. Mm -hmm. so there's a, there's a section on your palate right. strictly for meat and steaks. Did you know yes. that? There's a section wow. on your tongue strictly for sugar and sweet. <laughs> mm -hmm. so there's a science to all of this. And I get just excited when I talk about it. So my yes. favorite cut is the cut. Getting, Getting back to 
Le and Levi said that's his favorite cut as well. So shouts out to mm -hmm. Levi Q in the house. He said his favorite cut is the B cut. Yes. Yes. It doesn't change the flavor of the tobacco. Now, mm -hmm. it depends on your palate and how you like it. So there's right. the blunt cut as well, which is this. This is the okay. blunt cut. And again, it's based off of the size of the cigar. So the blunt cut is where you take the cigar and you cut it right here at the head. If you see right okay. here at the head of the cigar, right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Just the top of it. Now, again, smoking the cigar evenly is the caveat to, to again, getting all the flavor notes. But again, right. who is to say, who is to say that's mm -hmm. scientifically saying that the V cut is the best. So right. I'm going to continue on. This is a V cut. This is a box press cigar. Look at the shape. It's a box. It's yes. press. Mm -hmm. It is cigar porn. Cigar. Yes. Cigar porn. They just came out with this. Okay. Okay. This, of course, you see the different right. um, shape of the cigar? Shape and one is longer than the other one. There you go. And even this one. Oh, wow. That's a big one. That's a big you cigar. see the different shapes of the wrapper mm -hmm. of the cigar, mm -hmm. right? So this is a Maduro, which is um, the, uh, the the Boulder cigar. Yeah, it's it looks cigar. strong. It, it yes, looks it, strong. it looks strong. It's dark. It's extremely dark. Yes. And, and yes. the reason why it's dark is because of the wrapper. The wrapper, there's three components of a cigar. There's a wrapper, the filler, and the binder. Mm. And the wrapper, in order for it to become this color, of course, there's a process. But if you think about a tobacco stalk, there's mm -hmm. three leaves on a tobacco stalk. Okay. The wrapper that, that makes the Maduro is the, the leaf that's closest to the top, is the, the one at the top. And the one at the top is the one closest to the sun. So it gets the most sun. Mm. So yes. that's why they call it the Maduro. It's the Maduro because it's the, it's the leaf that's closest to the sun. And of course there's different processes to, to, to make it the flavor that it is. But mm. this particular wrapper and this particular color of a cigar is called a Maduro. So there's only two types of cigars. There's a, a, a Maduro and then there's a natural, and then there's millions of okay. types up under that. Okay. Gotcha. Now, is this a, is it, is it an expensive, is it an cigars expensive, expensive experience? Cigars, cigars are expensive. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, listen, you got to pay to play. So one mm -hmm. cigar, give me an example. If I come in there it's like my first time, I don't know what I'm talking about. And I'm trying to impress somebody who also don't know what they're talking about. And I'm like, give me your best cigar, <laughs> right? If I come through to you, I say, give me your best cigar. What am I going to get? And what so is it going to cost me? So that, don't ever say that. Because don't ever they're say gonna that. You, don't ever say that because they're going to give you their best cigar. They're You're right. giving them the choice, of course, because you don't know. So what uh -huh. you say, I want a premium cigar with long filler tobacco okay, okay. now okay. The, the long filler tobacco if you think about a tobacco leaf okay this is a tobacco leaf all right when you roll a cigar this is the meat of the leaf correct so mm -hmm. what happens to the ends you cut the ends off and you cut it and you roll it and you put all of that on there you want this meaty part of the leaf this is called a long filler this is called the mm -hmm. long filler of a tobacco, okay? Mm -hmm. The short filler tobacco are the one the, the sides that are cut off. They're scraps. Oh, they scraps and they remanufacture them and then they put them in cigars that are that are not as premium as the long filler cigar. So Ooh. you want a premium cigar with long filler. Oh, um, I feel like I feel like my Play a game just went up two points at least. Everybody's ass. Everybody's listen, listen, in a cigar lounge, that makes a difference. That it makes does. a difference. So the individual behind the 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 um the desk at or at the counter, you know, recommending you cigars are gonna be like, oh, okay. So they're gonna skip mm -hmm. all of that over there and go to the good stuff. Because right. they're gonna think you know what you're talking about, and from that point, exactly. you say, "Okay, let's get one of those premium cigars." Mm -hmm. Oh my Thank goodness! Oh, she's taking us to school. Now, <laughs> what do you have going on for the new year? You're going to be doing some things, and you have a jam-packed schedule coming up. You're going to be in many places. 
Um, yes. But tell us what you have happening for uh, New Year's. So I'm going to do an event here in Raleigh um, for New Year's. So I'll be working New Year's. Um, January the 6th, I'll be in. Oh, there you go. Yes. There um, you that's go. The, the individuals that are throwing the biggest CIAA party in Baltimore. That's March 1st, 2nd and 3rd. Mm -hmm. Um, but the, around the new year, I'm going to be at this party um, and I'm going to have my novelettes with me. Um, uh, January the 6th, I have to be in L.A. for the grand opening of one of my colleagues, um, Rose Gold Reserve. He has a luxury line of, of cars that he sells to the stars out in L.A. So he produced mm -hmm. a cigar line. And so he's having his grand opening at the his new, um, uh, I'm sorry, his uh, new car. Uh, dealership mm -hmm. and opening up and rolling out his cigar. So he's invited me to that grand opening. That's January the 6th, March um, 1st, yeah. 2nd, and 3rd. As I said, I'll be in at the CIAA um, at the uh, power plant, which is one of the biggest mm -hmm. venues in Baltimore. I'll be there with the novelettes. We're going to be doing um, vending there, the exclusive cigar vendor there. Um, yeah. March the 15th through the 17th, I will be in Houston curating the Puffin Duchess Women's Conference. So it's the second um, largest, well, the second annual Puffin Duchess Women's Conference, and it's the second year and the first of its kind. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I sponsored the gala for that event last year. Um, and the owner and, and actual curator of Puffin Duchess asked me to uh, be co curators with her this year. So we're coming. Mm -hmm. Strong and my birthday is yes. 420. Um, yes, birthday yeah, your 420. birthday is 420. Birthday what a man, that is so good. <laughs> Major, stop. <laughs> <laughs> 420. Do I light a cigar now? Or what? <laughs> right. Go pick it up. I'm telling you, I, I'm gonna, yeah, have I'm gonna a light a cigar with you on your birthday if it's yes. like 420. But you guys have to come because I've decided Absolutely. that it's going to be a, a Love Jones, um, Love Jones uh, reunion type party. So it's going to be all black attire fair um, for my birthday party, Love Jones, because we're celebrating the 30th year of Love Jones. So I'm yes. talking uh, with the individuals, so. the, the um, Lorenz Tate and, and a couple of the other stars of that. Um, 100 Black Men of America. You know, I'm going to be back there in Houston soon. Yes. Um, HBCU Sports Network golf tournament. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be there in August, um, and yes. I I can go on and on. I can't even remember right now, but right, I, I, right, a jam packed <laughs> calendar. So, oh my goodness, what an awesome show! Shouts out to Brandon uh, Hill in the house. Rachel Lewis is with us. Rachel. Levi Q, man, you guys are tuned in tonight because y'all also know that we're giving away that hundred dollars as well. So if you have <laughs> shared this live from Facebook um, on your page, you will be in a, put in a drawing for a hundred dollar gift card. Um, so Miss Novelty, tell everyone how they can stay in touch with you, uh, your social media platforms, your website, so they can see your calendar and come out to some of your events and support you and also purchase some of your merchandise. Absolutely, absolutely. Regarding the giveaway, I'll add a hundred dollars to that, so it would be two hundred dollars. Whoa! Okay, let me yeah, find I out. We getting no, rich up in this thing. No, do that because no. I appreciate the opportunity. I put my money where my mouth is, and I support yes. this. Period. So I appreciate the opportunity to share my story. Um, oh, you can sorry. find me on, at um, on IG the at the Miss Novelty Experience or Novelty Cigar Bar on IG. Um, also, I have a website, www.novelticigarbar.com. I also have a, a page on IG called the brown underscore circle.com. And yes. what that is, is a page where I promote um, brown businesses, not only brown businesses, but brown businesses that have female owners. So I want to get us out because we are the backbone of the family. We are the backbone. So whatever I can do to help us, that's what I'm going to do. Wow. Yes. Oh my goodness. Miss Novelty has <laughs> just sponsored our one of our $100 gift cards. So that is going to be $200, y'all. We are going to give that out next week after our show. I'm so excited. That is sponsored and brought to you by the Novelty Experience 
Thank you so much. We're going to have you back on the show next season. And we're going to literally just kind of go down the list of how to smoke a cigar, what to do, making sure that you are looking the part, feeling the part and enjoying the experience. So I can't wait to have you back on the show. Thank you so much. It was my pleasure. Oh, yeah. Yes. I love talking about us and I love talking about cigars. So I have thoroughly, Absolutely. thoroughly enjoyed talking to you. You are nothing at all like I expected you to be. What did you expect? I'm just saying, look, man. That's look, the man got look, the story look, too. Hey, look. You and Major gonna have honest. a conversation. Yeah, I I you so the picture on your website, man, you look like you done had some bodies come up missing. I was just saying that, like, you look like you could be a feature uh, you know character or like a, a power or a BET's. A you power better know it. Something like you that. But you are so, it. you are, you are absolutely just like so pleasant and feminine, but strong. Like, I can see That's everything. Right. And I love that. I really, really enjoy this. Absolutely. I know, absolutely. My, I yes. know, my, know my position. Yo, I was born a female, but I was made a queen and a woman. Ooh, oh, my you God. Better. Now, way to close out. Thank you so much, Queen, for every single thing. Thank you for this exclusive. Thank you for sponsoring that hundred dollars. Oh my goodness! And thank you for schooling us today. I absolutely anytime, I'll you, sister. I'll thank come you. Best of luck on everything. You know what? You have doors and windows are going to just open. I, I touch and agree with you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Pray for me. All right. Thank oh you, my, my beautiful God. sister. It's a pleasure yes. to meet you. Yes. What a show. Shout out to Sean in the house. Deborah is in the building as well. Woo. My goodness. What well, wow. major? You, you cannot have that extra hundred dollars that Miss Nala. No, I ain't even out. worried about it. I ain't even worried about it, Didi. I'm going down to the welfare office, man. Y'all ain't gonna even hold you, man. I'm going right on you, down. You going to see Puffy? <laughs> I'm going to, yeah, I'm, I'm either that or the welfare office. I'm going to, my allegation on Puffy is going to stick or they're going to give me some stamps, at least for the holiday. Dude. At least for the holiday. <laughs> wow. So yeah. listen, guys, to reiterate, we now have $200 that we're giving away. All you have to do is share this Facebook Live to increase your chances of winning subscribe to the let's talk about it youtube channel let's talk about it with dd sky like share and subscribe to that channel increase your chances of winning we're giving away a big two hundred dollars yes two hundred dollars next week absolutely courtesy <laughs> of the novelty experience novelty courtesy cigar of the bar novelty experience partnering with us man and you, you talk about relationships and networking Right. And that's absolutely what we did. We met at, and so I can attest to it. And I don't smoke, um, but I can smoke. attest that. Hey, hey look, man, there's something sexy about that movies. woman. That was sexy yeah. to me, man. I ain't gonna even lie to you. She, that was sexy as hell. I, I didn't expect that. I did not expect that. <laughs> Dead serious, Diddy. You need to start smoking. No, you should see her walk in the room. I baby, bet. She, oh she, my goodness. She walked in the room at the cigar lounge, baby, and it just went up. It literally went oh, up yeah. and smoked. She walked I'm, in, commanded her presence. Uh, she was bold. She was brilliant. She was beautiful. And baby, I'm telling you, so it was just an attraction when we connected. It was like, wow. Yeah. Yeah, she, I smoke cigars with her all night. I really would. No. <laughs> how do we how do we exit this uh episode without getting demonetized? I know. I, I I don't have a cigar. I don't, but I'm going to, I, you know, my, my family members smoke. And so I'm all, you know, I'm around it. I'm, I'm around it. And so um, I'm just grateful for the opportunity to have her on this show and to provide so much knowledge, information, insight. Um, and so, wow, great show. Episode 19, but we are rounding it out with the right. best. You don't want to miss any episode. Our next week is our final episode of the season before the holidays. And we're going to take a little break and come back with an even better show. Um, but guys, it wouldn't be possible without you. Thank you all so, so much for tuning in, for supporting us and being here with us. Um, you know, again, don't forget to like, 
share and subscribe. We are on your favorite uh, streaming platform. So if you don't have an opportunity to actually watch us live, you can catch the show on your favorite uh, podcast streaming service. You can yeah. catch us on what is it? Um, it's Apple, Apple Podcast, Music, Spotify. Spotify. Yeah, iHeart. Heart we're there. Yeah. And if you're on, if you're there. on. All- your cash box. I don't even heard never heard of those until DD signed up for them. So I didn't even never yeah. knew what those was. Exactly. But we are all there as well. No, no disrespect to them. I just didn't know. Um, right. So we're there. So yeah, yes. DD, if they were trying to hang out with you and see some of the crazy antics, like the the, the, the stuff that be on your social media, how would they uh, do that? Because you do some off the wall stuff, man. I'm gonna be honest. Like DD living her best life on TikTok. Y'all, if y'all don't know, please check her out. I'm I'm doing something, you know, like mm, mm, mm. okay. I, I was um, waiting for the water dance. I'm surprised y'all haven't done that yet. The we haven't dance. done that. I'm, uh, when I get back with my TikTok two seats, I like to have people with me. Um, yeah. but yeah, I, I'm I'm gonna do especially during the the break during the holiday break. I'm gonna give you a couple of t- TikToks. TikTok. I need two-sies. something. Yeah, I yes, need, but I need you can catch two-sies. me on Instagram, Facebook, of course. TikTok, Twitter, which is now X, uh, really easy. It's, the D I D I S double K Y D D Sky. Major, how can they check you out? Well, they can check me out in person if you know where I live. Um, but if you don't have that inf- information, I'm on all social media platforms at Design mm-hmm. by Major. Uh, yes. where I'll be cutting up on a, a pretty a semi-regular basis. But guys, I know we're at episode 19 and that episode 20 is the final episode of season one, but that doesn't mean that we're disappearing, folks. We are still going to be hanging out with you as the Let's Talk About It podcast with Didi Sky, but we're going to be walking you all into our podcasting journey while mm-hmm. we are on our uh, hiatus for the season. So you're going to still get to hang out with us. That's we're going to be right. just as beautiful and well put together as always. That's we're going right. to be uh, talking to you guys about our first year podcasting in there right uh-huh. that's so right. we have had some experiences in this first year of podcasting <laughs> <laughs> we have we have but you know you know what they say pain pushes us to our purpose so we <laughs> those pains and challenges brought us right here and it's only going to get better and better and better and so again it wouldn't be possible without you guys thank you all so very much remember following us on Facebook, sharing this live, telling us in the comments that you shared it, having your friends and family go on over to that YouTube channel. I'm telling you, $200. And you can ask April, if if yours truly April is still on here, we hold on to our word. We are people of our word and we make sure that we get that money to you. So she was our winner of our first $50 gift card, but we're going to get you that money. I promise I will not let Major... Uh, take it over. But it, you know what? This show was absolutely amazing. Again, shouts out to Miss Novelty and all that she is doing. You guys, I'm just overjoyed. I'm too I'm overjoyed. super excited. Yeah. Yeah. So that's it. That's it for us tonight, y'all. You know what I say before I go? Go for your goals, reach for the stars because the sky has no limits. We'll see you next time. Good night.